to the Church Ladies Cooking Show. I'm Nisi. I'm Chris. And we have an amazing show for you today. We also have a special guest today. This is Dr. Joe Prophet. Hello. Thank you for inviting me. Wonderful to have you. Well, it's good I'm to so be excited. here. so excited. On my tour of um, a little campaign that's going on now. I'm running for the congressional seat out in oh, that's uh, wonderful. the fourth. I want to stop when I got the invitation. I said, I got an invitation from the church cooking ladies. Church, church ladies, ladies, ladies cooking, cooking show. Oh, church ladies cooking show. <laughs> I just heard that church ladies. I know you heard church the cooking, ladies. The cooking got my attention. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, but I'm glad, I'm glad to be here. Thank we're you. So, we're so happy that you're here. We have an amazing dish for you today. This is one of my favorites because this is a comfort food and it's also good for like church gatherings and also for like that church picnic that you have every every year. And when I tell you like, it, it, but I, you know, Nisi always brings a twist See? to something when I'm cooking. That's what she always the twister. <laughs> I am the twister. I do have a, a, a great side dish for you. I have three potato potato salad. See, y'all, I told you. Not just your ordinary potato salad. Three potatoes. Everybody at church smelling that food. What's going on? You see down there twisting? <laughs> I'm down there twisting. I got to tell you, you said you're twisting, then I'm going to say twist and shout. Oh, that's oh, right. Shout. Said, when you're cooking, it's good. Call me because I'm coming. <laughs> Yes, well, you know, the, the, I, I love potato salad and, you know, you know, the mothers always want someone that can, you know, make a really good potato salad because yeah. you don't want to get the mothers or, you know, the, definitely the mothers or the deacons in the church a little upset. Who, baby, who made the potato salad? <laughs> you know, you don't want to get them upset. So, you know, especially, you know, your sisters out there, they really can't make potato salad. You know, this recipe will be available on our website. OK, and then also just it brings that twist. And y'all know mama's in the church. Don't have filters. They say what come up. Exactly. Y'all gonna get this recipe for this potato salad. Exactly. Yes, she is, and she will tell you. And she's gonna get up in front of the church. Y'all know Sister Patterson cooked that potato salad. We can't have for the back there. She know better. And these potato, you know, this is what I call, you know, this is my Holy Spirit potato salad because you got potatoes for the father. Of the Son and the Holy Hallelujah. Spirit. Oh, help me. Uh, <laughs> you got three comforters. Yes, we do. Them three comforters. <laughs> so we're gonna go. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about what's in this potato salad. Okay. All right. I use um, my first potato is a red potato. I have a, a traditional Idaho potato, potato, which is what mostly everybody uses for a potato salad. But my my real twist is the sweet potato. All right. And it's just gonna give a different flavor. It's gonna just bring a that different twist. To the it up so, so you could say instead of saying the potato salad, you could say three potatoes. Yeah, it is. It's I like three, it. potato three potato salad. salad. I love it. <laughs> Make you think about home, down home, Louisiana home. All right. <laughs> go on, go on, Miss Nisa. Talk, Wonderful. Talk. Oh, no. Okay, oh, no. for oh, no. all of you and Dr. Prophet that doesn't know, I start, always start with my dry ingredients. But this ingredient here, this is what we call magic. You hmm. know, for our viewers that have seen us before, right. yes, okay. it, it, it is. It's anointing on this magic, yes. on this seasoning. And what it is is adobo seasoning, what you can find. You can find this in your um, your grocery store. You know, it's, it's, it's readily available. And just a little chicken bouillon, but it brings mm. flavor. And then you don't have to use salt. Oh. So this brings an amazing flavor. I can't wait for you to try this. It's so good. Mm. It's very good. I also have a little onion powder, garlic powder. Just a little sugar, just to just to balance out the adobo seasoning with the chicken bouillon. I also like to garnish with parsley. I have a little white pepper. Sometimes, I mean, if you you can use black pepper, but I like to use white white pepper because it just it brings a different flavor. Then you have to be careful with it. You have to be careful. We can't use too much of the white pepper. Also, I have paprika for a little color, as well as my relish and my mayo. Now you can also, you know, you can use eggs. I chose not to use eggs in this dish, but you can, you know, traditionally you would use the eggs for the potato salad yes. okay so we're gonna go ahead and get started and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna add my to my Idaho potatoes I'm gonna add my red potatoes and I noticed you took all the uh, peel and off the oh yes mm -hmm. okay, so. and you can use them on you can you can leave them on if you choose it's just your personal preference okay what I like to do because you know the red potato I'm sorry the um, sweet potatoes they cook a little bit you know softer um, I like to to add these last Okay. okay, so I'm so gonna wait on those so it doesn't mushy. get mushy, yeah. you know, because you know yeah. some of the sisters now, you you make some potato salad that look more like mashed potato don't salad, <laughs> so we don't need any mashed potato salad. <laughs> so we know we just want to make sure that it, it just blends well. So I'm just gonna take just a little bit of my magic and just put just a little small portion. I'm gonna use maybe about a a, a quarter of a teaspoon. 
Okay. Okay. And this is about a quarter of a teaspoon of the onion powder, as well as the garlic powder is a quarter of a teaspoon as Does well. Does it go in any particular order, or you just kind of? I like to it? use my dry ingredients first, right. okay. you know, before, and then Ooh. while that is already blending together, you know, I can just add my wet ingredients. And I'm going to use just a little bit of the sugar, which is about a fourth of a teaspoon. Y'all, right. this smells so good. I'm it smells like, good already, already, doesn't already it? Even <laughs> even like, can the pastor pray for the food? Can he go ahead and pray for the food so you can go ahead and eat? Can I ask you a question, Ms. Neal? Sure. I want to ask you a question. I don't mean to interrupt you because I'm really excited about this. I don't mean to talk over you, but this also is for the guys because I know a lot of athletes like to cook. That's right. And a lot of single dads, they have to cook. And then start doing it and go like, this is pretty good. So I heard you talk too a little bit about the, the, the mothers in the church. Yes, uh, uh -huh. my, my mama used to always take me to church, but we never had anything like this. We, we, had, the, the, we had the worship, we had everything there, but we never right. had the, the cooking right. there. So I just want to say to all you guys out there, this is for you too. All right, <laughs> this is for you too. And, 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 That's and, right. And, and another thing too, now I just got a new term. Okay. It's going to be a Nisi special. Uh, it Nisi is a Nisi special. special. This, Nisi special. <laughs> this right here is going to be called, y'all, are accustomed to potato salad. Uh -huh. It's going to be three potato salad. Three potato three salad. You know, my good friends down in the um, Hispanic community, they got in the Mexican community, they got their own little names too, like uh, tri twice fried rice. Right, or, right, right. You know, so now we got um, three potato salad. That's right. Yes. Three, three potato, potato salad. Potato salad. Three okay. Potato salad. And what right. you see what I'm doing right now, I just mixed all of the dry ingredients before I added my wet ingredients. If you can see right here, all of my dry ingredients have been have been added. Oh, I'm going to go. It smells really it smells good. good. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and add my relish. I like a lot of relish. It, it just brings a, a, a great flavor. So I'm actually going to add all of it. Just remind me being home, we'd be cooking. It smells so good. That's why most of the chef are a little bit overweight. we be tasting while we cook. I'm like, man, come on, leave a little bit in That's there. right. It smells good. Really, really nice. Oh, oh, I'm ready. I just need her. To I'm and, just being for real. I just need her to hurry up. And, and Nisa, this is kind of quick, too. It's not This is very quick. It takes about 10 minutes, 10 minutes to um, put everything together. Right. And as you see, I'm going to give you a little tilt here so you can see exactly what's going on yes. right here. And Sorry. what I'm doing right now is just mixing everything together. And I used about two tablespoons of the mayo just to start off with. And I'll add, you know, just add as you need, you know, um, so it doesn't, it's, it's not too mushy, it's not too wet because you don't want to serve it soupy. Because again, the, it is not too dry because the mothers will talk about it um, at a church or tomorrow at church service. And as Dr. Prophet say, <laughs> The deacons too. Don't leave the deacons out. The deacons too. Mm, I okay. Know, I, I like the fact that you don't mash those potatoes. They kind of like stuff. Right. Up. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Again, no mashed potato, potato salad. Yeah, sisters. Okay. I know the mothers know what they're doing, but the sisters, <laughs> no mashed still, potato still salad. Learning. Okay. We're still learning. learning. Okay. As you see, I'm about to add the sweet potatoes because now I have a pretty good mixture here with the potato salad, with the red potato and the Idaho potato. Mm. So I'll just go ahead and put this in. Yes. And what you do with the red, I'm sorry, with the sweet potatoes, you're just going to fold those in because you don't want, again, you don't want to make it mushy to where it turns like an orange, orangey potato salad. But if, as you can see, as I'm folding here, you see that it's just, it's blending really, really well. Mm. Okay. And this is ready. That's all it takes is about 10 minutes. My goodness. Okay. Well, yes, all you moms that you heard and want to do something real special for your kids and right. for your, uh, for your uh, other uh, half, this is the dish. Exactly. Exactly. Got that church finger up. Amen. Amen. And I have my plate while they playing. Uh, okay. Uh, right before we taste, we're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back with this three potato salad. I love it. Y'all see what they do with me? I got to wait for the break. I'll see y'all in a minute. Y'all come back. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, we're back, and I tell you, these two are ready to try this potato salad. You know, I, I, when I tell you, like this, this is a game changer. It okay. really, really is. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna make you wait anymore. So I'm gonna go ahead and just plate this for you, so you can go ahead and taste. I can't wait for you to taste it. And again, this only takes about ten minutes now. Ms. Ms. I, got, I got to tell you, Miss Nisi, this <laughs> is so, it's smelling so good, I can't wait to taste it, but mm -hmm. you give a whole oh. new meaning to the new deal that they call the church ladies cooking <laughs> show, with emphasis on cooking show. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Mm. So what do you think? Mm. Mm. <laughs> very, very um, tasty. 
I, I taste down in there the the um, the actual herbs and spices. Yes. Mm -hmm. You have like a New Orleans type. Taste right, to it right, right. Mmm. Right hey guys, you gotta get some of this. <laughs> and the thing I like about it the most, sorry. Mm -hmm. I can taste the flavor of each individual potato. Right. Exactly. I, mean, I can taste the Idaho. I can taste the red. I can taste right. The sweet potato this is awesome right right exactly and it's so simple to make guys when i tell you like again 10 minute 10 minute cooking mm -hmm. time as far as preparation you know and again you all you have to do is just uh, put it in your little tupperware and go ahead and take it down to your picnic how you do take i get down the, to the gathering i mean i want the recipe this right now <laughs> when i go home and tell my wife baby i, I know you feel praise for you i'm gonna be cooking for you. Right. I'm about to run <laughs> how do we get that <laughs> recipe <my> <laughs> I know it, it'll make you go there. When I tell you, you can get this, you can get this recipe. Go ahead and get your praise on, girl. Yeah, I love sweet potatoes. <laughs> very good. You can find this recipe and more on our website at www.thechurchladies1.com. Mm. One. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna break my mama's rule and talk food in my mouth. Yeah. But, mm. Listen, it, it's great, it isn't real. it? It's a real deal. All right. I'm doing my thing. Yeah, God <laughs> I can't say one word. I just wave my hand. Amen. Hands. God understands. This is so good. <laughs> and it gives me a crunch on the potato. Right. Right. Growing up, I had that potato side that was kind of mushy. Yes. Mm -hmm. This is a whole new twist. Absolutely. And I feel so good standing next to an inventor. Mm -hmm. Feel good down in your spirit. Of the free potato side. <laughs> three. Thank you. Son, 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 Holy Ghost. So That's happy. right. Amen. Oh, <laughs> we're so glad that you, you were able to join us today. You definitely have to come back for another show. Well, please call me. Absolutely. Well, Anytime that, that we're the church ladies are cooking, you're more than welcome. Thank you so much. <laughs> if you guys at the end of the neighborhood out here in Jonesboro, stop by the church and now hopefully if you're blessed that day, you will <laughs> have an opportunity to meet the church ladies at the cooking show. Amen. Amen. All right. I received that. I know that's what I'm going to do it. <laughs> All right. We're going to take another break. Uh, make sure that you stay tuned in. We have something else spectacular. We'll see you in a few minutes. Y'all come back. Cooking in the kitchen.